Okay, and we're back for the second half of this tutorial. Uh, so, now it's time to set up the stage. Okay? So, under where you see this floor here, um, go to stage, obviously. Okay, and uh, while we are in the stage, you want to make sure that you put your first camera right here, your camera one, the one that we animated, um, into the camera box, okay? So put camera one into the camera, and control, click that dot, and it sets a keyframe. So right about, um, right when it stops going, which is right about, there, frame 100, let's go back, uh, say 10 frames, I don't know if that's going to do anything, but we can still try it, and make another keyframe, go to frame 100, and put your second camera in, and that's actually done, your camera views are done now. So if we watch it, this is what's happening. So it's gonna hit that and then go straight to camera two as it bounces. Okay, so watch this again. The ball falls, boom, camera two, bounce. I'm still not liking the frame rate, so I'm gonna put it to 250. And that's looking really good actually so um, in order to set up a scene a little bit better you can delete the plane okay and make a floor and in the floor objects go to simulation tags rigid body and it automatically puts the floor as um, a not in motion object so you don't have to go in there and click uh, dynamics dynamic off it automatically does it for you and for the sphere if you're planning on rendering uh, I would suggest putting the frame rate, or not the frame rate, the segments to at least 48, which is double the amount. A little bit longer to render, but it gives you a nicer result. Um, and as for lighting, let's go into Edit, Project Settings, and I don't like the color that they put back there. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to make it 3-3, uh, 3-3, three, 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 three three okay it's just a, a basic uh, uh, gray okay so it changed the color of that but that's okay now come into window or well uh, I guess you guys don't have to you can make your own textures or load one up from the presets anywhere in here um, I'm gonna try to find an interesting type of texture I guess uh, so let's see I'm gonna go with aluminum okay just apply that you render it looks pretty cool that's that's really cool uh, so now what you want to do is add a background, floor, Cinema 4D tags, compositing, uncheck check. Anyway, <clears throat> um, basically what that does is it puts the floor uh, to the color of our project setting, which is the dark brown, or uh, I'm sorry, the uh, gray. Um, and so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so when you render now, the background is going to be gray uh, and I'm still not liking the lighting so uh, we can change that and make sure that when you're using the stage that you're done completely out of the editor because as you can see when I try to go out of the uh, camera you can't uh, I guess you can if you click that off but um, just make sure you know what you're doing 
So, uh, so I'm going to set up some lights here. Um, I'm going to make sure that this is selected. Target light. the light right there now I'm gonna make another light where is it now okay just to make sure that we can see it yeah that's pretty good okay now that's pretty amazing. So I'm gonna come into here, um, effect, ambient occlusion, global illumination. Now we can go back into here. Yeah, that's not really lighting the scene that well. Okay, so if it's not lighting the scene very well, what you can do is make another plane. Okay. Make another plane. And you're gonna to wanna to shrink it down a little bit. Oops, my bad. Shrink it down a little bit. MoGraph, cloner, plane, cloner, grid array, one. Just spread those out so that they're even. Okay. Now come into here, make a new texture, completely white, 200, uncheck specular, luminance, just put that on there. Now if you come into here, oops, why is it like that, stage is supposed to be, okay. So now you can kind of see that it's working. And so that looks really good. Um, so now the scene is basically set up now. So everything should be pretty good. Um, so let's see what this is going to look like once it hits the spot. Okay. It should look pretty good. Oh yeah. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. It and that's basically how you set up stages. Um, so you can do this with multiple cameras as long as you set the keyframes properly. It should work out pretty fine. Um, so have any questions or comments you can comment on my YouTube page uh, we do crash bike studios so yeah crash bike studios check out our Facebook uh, check out our Twitter add us and we'll be hearing you from you guys later